So I fitted the side mirrors, I had little tiny ones that I couldn't see anything out of, so changed over to some stock ones. Super basic mount, but it's solid as fuck, so that's going to work out really good. We've got uh, racing coming up at Winton this weekend, um, so prepping the Z, we've been, I've been prepping the Z for the last couple of weeks, and also then two weeks after at 16th at Avalon, going on in the, the wingless, so we're gonna miss the first round of their um, their state series, but I'm not too fast. I'm just out having a bit of fun. So, so Brian Trick from um, from Nos Racing Parts uh, dropped over yesterday and dropped in my loom for the the wingless, and he cut a fair bit of it out and sort of and we found that well he found that there was corrosion on the ECU, so he's replaced that. Bloody legend came over. We started the car up. It sounds it does sound a bit better. So um, yeah, just sort of sort of finishing off some things. Um, cleaning some stuff up, but it already looks way neater, so I'm stoked. Awesome bloke, awesome bloke. So I get asked, like, why the LS1, like, they're bogan, they're cheap horsepower, uh, they're dime a dozen, everyone's got one. Well, to be honest, uh, they're cheap horsepower, uh, everyone has them, so that means that you know, they're a known quantity, like, they're not as, uh, they definitely don't have the excitement of a turbo motor, or even a rotary, you know, their rotaries to me look like some sort of, something out of a spaceship, which I think is kind of cool. I've never driven one, uh, maybe if I did, uh, you know, I'd see what all the fuss is about, and I'd probably want one as well, they're pretty cool. So, but LS1, um, you know, this car uh, at Winton has gone quicker than the 180SX did with the SR, but it hasn't gone quicker at Philip Iron yet. But I think that's a lot down to suspension. Um, the suspension in 350Zs, um, to me, seem, I don't know, they're more complicated than the 180. They just, it's not as straightforward to, to get them to work on a budget. So, you know, that's what we've found. The suspension that the coil labs went for just aren't up to the job. Um, you know, we've broken the rear ones. The 180 ended up with a 350Z gearbox, which is fucking awesome. But this has got a 256 gearbox, which is, you know, out of the Commodores and stuff. And they're just a slow shifting, long ratio. I don't know if that's technically correct, but it's what it feels like to me. It feels like garbage, but, you know, at Winton, I kind of use it as a two-speed, so um, it's not ideal. So there's, there's, that's where the time, I think, will get made up. But, um, you know, I really like the Zs, and um, I like that they're a bit ugly. They're a bit sort of... Yeah, they're like squashed. 